Hi guys, this is your Vetriver. In this tutorial, I will teach how to create a store procedure using Visual Studio. So, I am just going to view and server explore. Here, many of the databases here. So, already I linked to the databases here. So, you want to link to new databases, then click connect to databases and uh, give the SQL server then yes, you select the SQL server and give the server name and uh, any authentication is there and authentication give to authentication and select your databases and test connection and ok it ok now I already linked to one database my database name is student ok just I am expand it and go to store procedure and right click the store procedure click add new store procedure here just add here I am creating the procedure like uh, add two numbers. I am passing the parameter to two two numbers uh, and uh, getting the result to one numbers. Okay. Just I am creating a database here. Uh, so procedure name is add underscore numbers number. Okay. Here I am creating uh, here I am creating the two parameters. So uh, before that variable or parameter any value we will use the hat symbol here. So I am using value best term caps lock value one. Uh, this type of value is float and at value to float float here I am using mm, begin and end so begin end means uh, it uh, uh, starting position and ending position like open parenthesis and close parenthesis like that only so I am here I am writing the I need answering so that's why I am creating a one table uh, so no need table here just you have to put the print button it also is working so I am just using uh, declare, declare. Uh, uh, one more thing um, short procedure like uh, VB this will this VB language like VB language okay declare uh, at ans means answer equal to ans answer equal to value one and sorry ans equal to float and declare and uh, and I am pass the value so using set or select now I am using set keyword so uh, at a n s equal to value 1 plus value 2 I have done it so now I am just writing to here print at control c So here just I am right click and execute here. So it get value 1 equal to 10, 12 and value 2 equal to 13. So we will get answer equal to 25. So go to output here. We get 25 answer. Okay. So uh, you one more thing. You need to you need to uh, get your data uh, into uh, your C sharp program then so we have to must create a table uh, so you have to pass the value into table that's why I am creating a one table here so I am create table uh, any name just I am using temp ok table name is temp 
uh, here I am passing the value equal to uh, table name one more thing you create table means it automatically created in your original table so that's why I'm using before that as it's a temporary table so it only the short procedure execute that time only in this table acting acting like uh, original okay so now I am put uh, answer I need only answer you know? that's why I am put uh, a and s answer uh, okay. uh, here that time I am just changing to a n s a n s equal to float okay I'm just created a own table and I'm passing the value to so insert in table name is as temp so I am passing value to uh, ans values of values equal to at ans so we no need this ok so I am just save it So, and just one more time I am execute so one row will affect it but we get, didn't get the answer so we need to get the select query then only we get the answer we get the answer then only we have to pass or use in C sharp so that's why I am using uh, I am select uh, star from uh, as ten. ok just save it and execute one more time so we get the answer so this is a column name ans and this is the answer ok guys next tutorial I will teach how to uh, pass the parameter uh, using the C sharp and how to retrieve the values uh, using the C sharp ok we will meet our next tutorial